What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we have Madden NFL through the years. We're going to check out the pregame from Madden 97 all the way up to Madden 17. Now if you missed my NCAA football through the years with the pregames you can check that out right there and of course I have a playlist of all my through the years down in the description below so make sure you check that out as well. Without further ado Madden 97 through Madden 17 pregames hope you enjoy. Hi everyone, this is John Madden, and welcome to the game. Welcome to Miami, Florida, where the Buffalo Bills have come to take on the Miami Dolphins. Let's take a look at the keys to today's game. Welcome to San Francisco, California and 3Com Park. Well, there's a lot of great seafood out here in San Francisco. The one thing you're gonna see tailgaters cooking is lobsters and crabs and all kind of exotic stuff. It's really warm out there today. You know, Pat, this is more like baseball weather because baseball's all right in the heat because you don't move around so much. But football is a lot better when it's cooler. Today's exhibition game is between the Minnesota Vikings and the Green Bay Packers. Greetings and welcome from EA Sports. Tonight's exhibition matchup is between the Green Bay Packers and the San Francisco 49ers. Both teams seem ready to go, so I'll send this one over to Pat and John. Thanks, JB, and welcome to Green Bay, Wisconsin, and historic Lambeau Field. Well, John, looks like we're all set. Yep, both of these teams look ready to go. Coming to you live from St. Louis, Missouri. And we have the Rams, who of course are located in St. Louis against the Cardinals, who used to be in St. Louis. Not only have both these teams called St. Louis home at one time or another, but since realignment, the Cardinals have also become a division opponent. Hey, that only adds more to the mix when these two play. Al Michaels and John Madden here to broadcast this one, brought to you by EA Sports, the company that defines football. Now here's one of the better quarterbacks in the league. And the great thing about him is that he always gets the job done. Maybe it's selling a play pass or throwing a block on a reverse. He's always out there doing the little things to help his team to victory. 
Isaac Bruce will be his go-to guy once again and for obvious reasons. He's one of the better route runners and always seems to make the catch in traffic. Stopping this combo hasn't been easy for many defenses, so we'll have to see what type of coverages they go with to prevent these two from doing a lot of damage. This is what you hate to see as a visitor coming in here. A team that's focused and really ready to play. Now let's go to midfield for the game's coin toss. A full house today at Lincoln Financial Field. Thanks for joining us. These two teams are ready to go, and it should be a great one as the Buccaneers get set to take on the Eagles. Welcome to the game. Al Michaels and John Madden here broadcasting live. So pull up a chair and relax because this is going to be a good one. One thing that can turn an average defense into a great one is the guys up front. When you have someone like this who consistently puts pressure on the quarterback, it allows the rest of the defense to drop back in coverage and not have to blitz or pressure as much. When you can do that, offenses have a tough time getting things done. Deuce Staley will have to be at his best against that defense if he's hoping to help carry his team to a victory. We'll also try to get him out of the backfield, hit him on a few screens and dump offs. He's a threat whenever he has the ball in his hands, so don't be surprised to see him touch the ball over 20 times throughout today's game. And you can tell that defense is fired up and ready to go. I don't think we should keep him waiting any longer. Let's go. Hi, everyone. I'm Al Michaels here for more great NFL action with my partner, John Madden. And hold on, because this is going to be a good one. Now here's one of the better quarterbacks in the league. And the great thing about him is that he always gets the job done. Maybe it's selling a play pass or throwing a block on a reverse. He's always out there doing the little things to help his team to victory. Troy Brown will be his go-to guy once again and for obvious reasons. He's one of the better route runners and always seems to make the catch in traffic. Stopping this combo hasn't been easy for many defenses, so we'll have to see what type of coverages they go with to prevent these two from doing a lot of damage. Look at them down there. Offense, defense, it doesn't matter. They just want to start hitting somebody. <laughs> They're already hitting each other. Now let's go to midfield. We're here at Heinz Field, ready for some football in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Thanks for being here with us. We're just about ready to start the game right now, featuring two very talented teams as the Cowboys match up against the AFC North champion Steelers. Now let's go to midfield for the game's coin toss. Take on the Indianapolis Colts. 
we've got another game of Madden 2008 coming at you. I'm Marshall Falk with the breakdown of today's game. Classic matchup of computer horsepower and user ingenuity in this one. Here's who I like going in, and it could very easily be the kickers who decide this one, and it wouldn't surprise me at all if this one came down to the big kick at the end just as time runs out. Let's head down to the field. Welcome to historic Lambeau Field for today's game. Introducing first, the visiting New York Giants. Sports Radio is proud to present continuing coverage of the National Football League. And we've got frigid temperatures here at game time today in the frozen tundra that is Lambeau Field as the New York Giants take on the Green Bay Packers. We're in store for another great NFL contest as we get set for the opening kickoff of this game. And now to Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth for the game. Tom? Rain could make a difference in today's game. Welcome, folks. Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth here with the call. We'll have to keep an eye on how the rain will affect the game as we get set for today's game. Chris, looks like the weather will be an issue. Rain can have a big impact on a game, especially in the passing game. Some quarterbacks have a real tough time throwing a wet ball. Let me tell you something. These two rivals have no love for each other, Chris. We've really seen some good matchups so far, and I think this one's going to be just as good. Both these coaches prepare their teams so well from week to week. The Steelers' home since 2001. This stadium has sold out every game it's hosted, just like its predecessor did throughout the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Welcome to Pittsburgh. Tom Hammond here, folks, with my partner, Chris Collinsworth. Glad you're with us. We should be in for a good one. New England squares off against Pittsburgh. We have cloudy skies, but rain is not expected for today's game, and the wind is almost non-existent. We'd like to remind you that our game is being presented in part by Snickers. Today's game is brought to you in HD by EA Sports and Madden NFL 11. Gus Johnson along with the speedster, Chris Collinsworth, we welcome you to the Wall Street of the West. We're here at Invesco Field at Mile High in Denver, Colorado. Great to have you here for an exhibition matchup between the Broncos and the Raiders. Who do you see as the key players for this matchup, Chris? Well, Gus, I've got my eyes on the two quarterbacks in this one. I had a chance to talk to both of these guys, obviously guys that have experience in this situation. They've been here before, and yet it's always so interesting. You can see a different look in their eyes when they're warming up. You know that they know the significance of these matchups, and it just adds another level of excitement to the football game. When you're talking about this kind of talent on the field, this should be a really good one. I know you're excited. I'm excited. Let's get it going. Interesting, Chris. Great storyline here today, and we'll follow that storyline as this game moves on.
The anticipation is mounting here as both sides get set for this matchup between the Denver Broncos and the New England Patriots here at Gillette Stadium. Hello, friends. Jim Nance alongside Phil Sims. And, Phil, we've prepared for this game by talking to the players and the coaches. What do you expect? Uh, Jim, you're right. We got to talk to a lot of people. And I tell you, there's so many things are even in this football game. What we're going to look at and what both coaches told us, special teams, look for them, look for the hidden yardage, which team can get the longer returns in the return game. And also what has stopped the, or what can always be a problem in games like this is penalties. Try to keep them to a minimum. We'll see how it turns out. In this matchup today, we've got playmakers. And I'm not talking about quarterbacks, wide receivers, or running backs. I'm talking about a linebacker on each team. Yeah, when you talk about both of these linebackers in this game today, we're not only talking about guys that are really good at their position, but also probably two of the best defensive players in the NFL. There's nothing they can't do. Great against the run, good blitzers, and also good enough to have an impact on the passing game. A coach, a broadcaster, a ritual, and an icon. From oh no to the game changing speed of Vic. In a well timed hit stick. To prove there is no curse. 25 years strong. This is the best of Matt. In Ken, history is a celebration. From the ferocity of LT to the grace of Jerry Rice. To live beyond their accomplishments. These are the great. here in Columbus, Ohio for this divisional showdown between the All 25s and the Canton Greats. Hello friends, Jim Nance alongside Phil Sims. We're live here tonight for this primetime matchup. There's all kinds of energy and excitement in the air as these teams are ready to take center stage. How about it, Phil? Oh man, there's gonna be a lot of people watching this game tonight. The old bad eye is on you. So in other words, we're gonna focus in on these players. It's gonna be fun to watch. And when they all know that all these people are watching, that brings out the emotion. Should be hard hitting, should be a lot of fun to watch. Let's go down to the field for the latest, and here's Danielle Bellini. Thanks, guys. Speaking with the players from both sides, these are two teams that obviously know each other very well. They play twice a year, so they know each other. They're familiar with each other. And with that in mind, guys, both coaches preached about the importance of being unpredictable. So watch out for some surprises on that field today. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. Hello everyone, I'm Larry Ridley and this is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's game, we have two Florida Miami Hurricanes getting ready to match up. It's Greg Olson going up against Jimmy Graham. So let's go now to Charlotte, North Carolina where Jim and Phil are on the call. It's the NFL on EA Sports, a matchup in the NFC South as we join you from Bank of America Stadium. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Simpson. You just have to love these types of games because there's just so much bad blood. There's such a deep rivalry here. The spirit is intense, and these teams will do anything to beat the other team. Well, they will, and you, we know that. It, it, it's just more attention to the details for the players during the week, and also you got to be ready for trick plays. The coaches, they want to try to fool the other team, give their team an edge, so you got to be ready for fake punts, fake kicks all during the game. The Panthers are back deep, waiting to return the kick. And Thomas Morstead looks set now to kick it away. This is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's game, we have a matchup of two AFC North rivals who are two of the top playmakers in the NFL. It's Antonio Brown versus A.J. Green. So 
let's go now to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where Jim and Phil are on the call. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we're getting set for an AFC North matchup as we join you from Heinz Field. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Simpson. You just have to love these types of games because there's just so much bad blood. There's such a deep rivalry here. The spirit is intense, and these teams will do anything to beat the other team. Yeah, I remember some of these games as a player, Jim. Even though it's been a long time, you just don't forget certain moments and really special games like this. And we talk to the players all week long. You know they have their attention. It's, it's very focused. Emotionally, they're ready to go. And that usually translates to exciting football game. And Sean Sweezum looks ready to get this one underway. And Brandon Tate is back deep here as he awaits the opening kickoff. Everyone, I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's matchup, we've got a pair of running backs who are hoping for plenty of touches to come their way. It's the Cowboys going up against the Rams. With that, it's time to hook up with our commentators in the booth as we turn it over to Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. Thank you very much, Larry. We are here on a beautiful afternoon for football. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Dallas Cowboys and the Los Angeles Rams. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. 